Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes with the Waltons. Today, I'm really kind of going behind the scenes more about scripts and schedules and how a lot of that worked. So hopefully you will find some of this uh, informative, entertaining, interesting. Anyway, thanks for joining me. And if you're enjoying, please do like, subscribe and share with your friends. So I get asked various different questions. And so this kind of falls in line with um, an Ask Judy question. Um, Jim said that INSP Network is uh, restarting the series and is hoping that it will be bringing back Friday airing the series. I hope so too. So his Ask Judy question is, what does a script look like? Here is Day of Infamy. So this is what this script looks like. I have, I have some revisions, it looks like, that I didn't actually put into the script, the pink pages. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I had separate pages that I, uh, looks like I never put into the script. I have pink pages and I have yellow pages. So those would have been revisions. And so I, I didn't actually take the time to put them into the script. But basically, um, I'll just kind of show you. Uh, let's see. So at the top of what they call Act 3. Okay, so what you've got is you've got um, fade into the Walton house, and then it sort of uh, describes what the setting is, the exterior of the Walton House day, the truck, coupe, station wagon, Jim Bob's car, and the Godsey vehicle are still parked out front. Then we go into an interior of the Walton living room, which is scene 51. Um, and then it describes what's happening from the radio, what we're hearing, the commentator's voice, and then it goes in and continues with what's going on with that scene. So this script, so he also asked how many lines have to be remembered in advance to complete a scene. Well, that depends on the length of the scene. Um, if it's uh, a couple of pages, then I would need to make sure that I knew all of my lines in those two pages. And then when we went to the next scene, I would need to make sure that I knew the lines for the next scene. If I had, say, six or eight pages of dialogue for the next day of filming, I would learn all those lines the night before. Uh, I don't have to memorize the entire script at one time. I would just do it day to day. Short-term memory is what it's all about when you're doing television. Uh, then he said, um, does a complete script of an episode need have to be remembered on a deadline? So no, just in time to, for the actual filming. And our script's the show's guide. Yeah, it basically uh, the script is what we are going to use to shoot with. So then what I thought I would do is share with you a little bit how we know what's going to happen. Uh, in this case, we have what is called a call sheet. Uh, so on the call sheet, uh, it has the day, the date. So in this case, it was for the episode, The Valediction. It was uh, the shooting date of January 30th, 1980. So hey, the day after my birthday. Uh, and it's the, a day and a half into the shooting of the episode, the production number, the crew call. The director was Harry Harris. The crew call was 7.30 a.m. with a shooting call for 8 o'clock, lunch at 1 p.m. Then you have like the, um, the section here where it has the set description. Uh, so that tells you where we are. So interior of the kitchen, interior of the kitchen, uh, then into the interior of the living room, interior living room, interior boys room, interior boys room. Then you have the scene number in the center, and then you have a bunch of numbers next to that. Those numbers next to it correspond with the numbers of the cast members. So if it says scene 15, uh, scene 15 would be interior of the kitchen, and the cast members who are in it are eight, nine, and 13. So that would be David, Cammie, and Peggy Ray. Uh, then it says whether D and N means, is it a day scene or a night scene? Then how many pages is a scene? In this case, scene 15 is one and seven eighths pages and the location, it was on stage 26. So each day we have one of these for the filming and this is basically what the cast and crew follow for the day. Then you would have under the cast section, you have the actor's name, the character name, what time you were called for makeup, what was your makeup call, and what time then did they want you on the set. So for me on this day, 
I had a makeup call for 8.30 a.m. with a set time for 9.30. So they were allowing an hour for me to get hair, makeup, and wardrobe, uh, knowing that they had uh, one or two short scenes before I was going to work or something like that. So they, they actually had a couple scenes, but they never want to wait for actors. So they'd rather have the actors there and ready for when they are looking to work with them. Moving on with the call sheet, we have special instructions. And the special instructions were cast and crew. Thanks to all of you, we are now shooting the 200th hour of the Waltons. So the valediction was our 200th episode. Uh, atmosphere and stand-in section. So that was um, our stand-ins and what call they need, call time they needed to be there. And then a welfare worker who was our, our um, school teacher. Then there's an advanced schedule. So it'll talk about, this was a Wednesday. So then it says what was gonna be shooting Thursday and where that was going to be. So those were going to be exteriors on the flats and Laramie Street. And then Friday, we were going to be at the Flats and the Jungle in the Flats. So that's that's all the key information for actors uh, and whatnot. On the back side is all of the information for the crew. So it lists out the different departments, the camera department, the grip department, the greens department, the makeup and hair, sound, set decorating, uh, so you've got basically camera and photo special, technical, electrical, makeup, wardrobe, sound, property and set dressing, music, studio police, production, first aid, location, cafe, which is basically um, anything to do with like, this has uh, ice, two bags <laughs> for transportation to pick up and a gallon of coffee and donuts and rolls. Those were all special notes to make sure that those arrived at seven, I can't read it, seven o'clock or something like that. And then you have the transportation department. So, and then there's like any special things uh, at the bottom, special instructions, which has to do with labor. Uh, weights, mobile home, all seven regulars, four specials at stage 26 at 7 a.m. hooked up uh, with heat. <laughs> That's good to know. Hey, we're gonna make sure, because it's January and it was probably cold in the morning. So he's going into those dressing rooms first thing when they were outside and they'd been outside cold overnight, it would be cold in there. Uh, and then to make sure lights and water and things like that were hooked up as needed. So that's your basic call sheet. And each day the, uh, the production team, so the, if we had production assistant, he would work with this with the first, with the second assistant director, but it would all be based off of an overall schedule for the episode. The overall schedule for an episode is laid out before we even start filming. So they have a big board and they take every scene that is going to be involved in that and they figure out the schedule to shoot it. And that has to do with locations. It has to do with actors. Um, if you have a guest star and you only have them for one day, then, and they need to shoot all of their scenes in one day, that'll be worked into the schedule, when we could have what locations, all that kind of stuff. And they put together what they call a one line. Now this is a one line for a film of mine, um, Finding Harmony, uh, which is hopefully will be out soon. But basically this you see has, um, it has a location. So it was in Sheffield, Alabama, we were shooting and it'll, it'll give all the scenes and it'll say, that's what we're shooting on day one. Then, you know, it'll be end of shooting day. This was, um, so we had a total of three and a half pages, three and five eighths pages they were shooting that day. Then the next day, it'll list all the scenes that were being shot on the second day. And so as an actor, when you get this, you can kind of take a look and say, okay, well, am I shooting that day? Because again, it will list what the scene is. So I can go and I can look at my script and say, well, scene 24. And I go and I look at the script and I go, am I in scene 24? And if not, I know I'm not working in that. There's also a edited down version of this that just gives who works what day. Uh, and so then you, you can have some advanced sense of 
what's shooting. And also for me, when you, again, you asking about lines and things like that, if I know, okay, by Thursday, I have a heavy day with a lot of scenes. So I need to be prepared. Uh, if I need to do any advanced work also to prepare, make sure any scenes, any character work, any background work, any homework I need to do that I haven't had a chance to do yet with a series, you move fast. So all those things, this gives me an advanced sense of what's going on and when I need to be ready. So that is the one line. Danny asked, if the crew was ever short-handed, did you ever have to move equipment or assist in getting a scene set up? And that would be a definite no, because every department was union on the Waltons, and so nobody touched anything that wasn't in their department. You could be fined for touching something or moving something that wasn't part of your department. So if a light had to move, an electrician had to move that. If a cable had to move, the right department had to do that. If the camera was moving, if a piece of camera equipment was needed, transportation, you didn't just, oh, I'll run that over for you. No, unless you were driving yourself to set and that was agreed upon. No, you just didn't do somebody else's job because it could, it could be dangerous if you weren't trained in that department and also, you can be jeopardizing someone else's job. So unions are, were there to protect people and the jobs they were doing. Uh, you want qualified people doing their job and the smoothness of how things shoot depends on the expertise of those people in those departments. Now, when it comes to small productions and non-union productions, or, I mean, I certainly have worked on a lot of theater where it was all hands. You know, we help build sets, I've built costumes, I've done all kinds of things. So it just depends on the parameters of the project. But on the Waltons, no, you did your own job and that was it. So that's just a little touch of some of the behind the scenes, specifically about scripts and about schedules and how it all worked for the actors, learning their lines, knowing when they were working, how the coordination of all the shooting went on. And that's just a little touch of that. So I hope you've enjoyed this little piece of Ask Judy behind the scenes of the scheduling and the scripts and stuff like that. I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.